Imagine you have a boyfriend right now. It all starts like a fairy tale. He's really into you, giving you all his attention and stuff. You and he talk about your future together. But suddenly, he changes into something completely different. He searches for other girls, entertains them, and completely ignores you. What would you do? Would you stay? Well, that's what Lee Guan He did to Hee Seon in the third season of the reality show Single Inferno. But despite all the pain Hee Seon went through, she kept holding on to Guan He until the very end. See, Lee Guan He became the most popular cast member in the show. People love him so much, but this love and popularity turned into an alarming sign of a narcissistic manipulator. And in this video, we're going to talk about how he manipulated all the girls and the fans throughout the show, all of his red flags, and who he really was before even stepping into the reality show. And I promise you, you don't want to miss this one. Keep watching why Lee Guan He is the worst singles Inferno contestant the show has ever seen. All the signs Guan He was a walking red flag in Singles Inferno Season 3. First things first, let's talk about how it all started. On day one, Guan He and Hye Seon picked each other, spending a dreamy night in paradise. Sounds like a fairy tale beginning, right? Well, hold on, because Guan He's eyes wandered, showing interest in not one, not two, but three other women as the season unfolded. Despite this, Hai Seon stayed true to Guan He, even though his actions raised a quite a few eyebrows. Now let's introduce a new character to the story, Choi Minji. See, in mid-season, Minji arrives, and Guan He's attention shifts again. He seemed smitten, even calling Minji the one he had been waiting for in an interview. Imagine that, but as Bruno Mars said, easy come, easy go. Guan He left Minji and turned his attention back to others. On the other hand, when Hai Seon wins a challenge, she chooses Guan He for another visit to paradise, leaving Minji heartbroken. Minji wanted her chance with Guan He but ended up third, settling for Park Min Q instead. And during a helicopter ride to paradise, Minji tries to catch Guan He's attention but was ignored, which leads to her tearful breakdown. While Minji's reaction seemed over the top, she looked so immature. Guan He's numbness was even more striking. But Guan He wasn't just juggling Hai Seon and Minji, he also flirted with the idea of dating Ha Jiun and even model Kim Gyu Ri. This behavior not only confused the women, it also left the viewers guessing who he truly liked until the very end. Lee Guan He Dehumanized Women During a campfire gathering, Guan He mentioned he was interested in three of the female contestants. But instead of naming them, he just pointed and said, the three women are her, her, and her. This moment didn't sit well with anyone, including the viewers and the other contestants. Ha Bin, one of the fan favorites, spoke up about it, highlighting that everyone has names, and even the hosts said that Guan He's approach crossed a line. This situation led to a united front among the female contestants. They expressed their discomfort with Guan He's overly confident demeanor, which instead of attracting, pushed them away. The feedback from women was brutally honest, and it was suggested that Guan He might not want to watch those parts of the show. Despite knowing their names, Guan He chose to refer to them in a way that felt dehumanizing. Netizen's Reaction to Guan He's Red Flag Personality Initially, Guan He captivated the viewers and contestants with his striking looks and charm. He had his undeniable presence that made him the center of attention, and a loot of women were drawn to him. However, the tide began to turn as viewers started noticing red flags in his behavior. Guan He went from charming to alarming. One fan expressed their shock, saying, I was shocked by this part. Really, really, really. It's the biggest red flag I've ever seen. This comment echoed across the internet as more people began to scrutinize Guan He's actions. What was once seen as entertaining behavior started to be recognized for what it truly was, disrespectful and harmful. From gaslighting female contestants, making them doubt themselves, to sudden cold treatments of some, the community watched as the impact of his behavior became more apparent. There's a post on Reddit that truly shows this kind of frustration, and a lot of people agree that Guan He's actions were diminishing the confidence and joy of the women on the show. Comments flooded in, highlighting how the bright and fun personalities of contestants like Ha Jeon and Hai Seon seemed to fade over time, overshadowed by Guan He's behavior. One user said, I hate the way you literally see the joy draining from all these women's eyes from episode 1 to now. Ha Jeon and Hai Seon are literally shells of themselves when they were previously so bright and fun. He has literally sucked the life out of them with his exhausting nonsense. It's like watching a horror movie. Another user pointed out, gaslighting and manipulation for short. Let's not romanticize this and make Guan He into a male lead in a K-drama. He needs therapy, not a relationship at this point. Also, the actress Lee Da Hee said that Guan He was a manipulative coward and selfish, but it wasn't all negative though. 
An unexpected positive outcome was how the situation brought the female contestants together. In a show often driven by competition, the unity among the women in the face of disrespect was a powerful moment. As one of the fans beautifully put it, when all the girls dropped their competition concept and immediately united, I love how women know they are not an option or a backup plan. Guan He regrets how he treated the singles Inferno 3 women. In an interview with Eyes magazine, he reflected on his behavior, admitting, When we were talking about age, I was just messing around to get close to them. Yet, he recognized that his playful demeanor might have come across more serious than intended, saying, It would have been better if I talked to them gently. Throughout the season, Guan He's way of speaking to female contestants of Singles Inferno Season 3 led to anger among multiple contestants on the show. Despite this, a turning point came into the final episode when he acknowledged his role in these conflicts. After hearing feedback from three women, he realized, I'm probably the problem. This moment of self-awareness was significant, especially when he offered a heartfelt apology to Minji saying, I'm sorry that I didn't treat you better. So did Guan He grow from this experience on Singles Inferno? As the cast and the world watched the show unfold on Netflix, Guan He faced his controversial actions head on. He admitted that his approach, especially in Paradise where they can only talk about their ages and occupations, could have been more thoughtful. Guan He, the oldest cast member at 36, surprised Yoon Ha Jun by guessing her age to be older than her actual 26 years, a move that didn't sit well with her. However, his interactions with Choi Hai Sin painted a different picture. Hai Seun, who went to paradise with Guan He on the first day, noticed a gentler side to him, unlike the other women. Yet, as the show neared its end, even Hai Seun reached her limit. In a decisive moment, she told Guan He to choose Minji because she didn't want to be with someone who didn't know what he wanted. But despite that push, Guan He chose Hai Seun. However, right after the show, Guan He released a video on his YouTube channel saying that he and Hai Seun are not dating anymore. Guan He said that he is looking for a girl who can be with him on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's not possible for Hai Sun because she is a student. But honestly, who is Lee Guan He? Where does he come from? Guan He's basketball genius journey. In Korea, there's a trio of universities that stand tall above the rest. Seoul National University, Korea University, and Yonsei University. These are the SKY universities, and landing a spot in any one of them is like hitting the jackpot. Lee Guan He, with his exceptional skills on the basketball court, earned his way into Yonsei University. For three years, he was the sixth man on the team, but it wasn't until his final year that he truly shone and earned the nickname Ace. After graduating from Yonsei University, Lee began his professional career with Seoul Samson Thunders in 2011. And if you've caught him in action on Singles Inferno Season 3, you know what I'm talking about. Lee's basketball journey took him to the Philippines and this chapter played a crucial role in his career. And despite participating in only 13 games, this experience was a game changer for him. Lee himself said, Because the time I spent in the Philippines, I have confidence to play abroad. That's why I can do well in Japan, Macau, and the Philippines. Maybe Korea isn't the place where I need to play. Definitely, the time I spent in Philippines helped me become a better player. While Lee's stats with the Fuel Masters might not have made headlines every game, he certainly left his mark, scoring an impressive 24 points in his first game. Then in 2021, Lee made a significant move and joined the LG Changwon Sakers, where he now leads as the team's captain and shooting guard, racking up an average 9 points per game. Lee Guan He originally applied to be on Singles Inferno 2. Yes, he had his eyes set on Season 2, dreaming of joining Jin Young and Nadine. But due to commitments with Changwon Sakers, he couldn't make it. However, by the next season, he was ready to set the screen on fire. And while we're on the topic of appearances, let's talk about... Lee Guan He's look-alike Korean rapper Binzino. It's uncanny how much they resemble each other, a fact that fans noticed even before Lee graced Singles Inferno with his presence. And speaking of presence, G-Dragon's presence is a second to none. He became one of the most successful K-pop idols in history. But have you ever asked yourself why he suddenly left YG Entertainment? Well, in this video right here, we explain the dark truth about why G-Dragon left YG. So click it and see you on the other side of K-pop.